Welcome to Ridgeline 101. I am going to demonstrate how to put up a ridgeline wearing my GoPro. Hopefully you'll be able to see some of the stuff I'm doing uh, with my hands. Uh, what you want to first do is find two trees about 10 paces apart and I've got these two birch trees one over here and one over here that I'm going to use as my sample. Typically I will put my bowline around the tree that is most difficult to access so for me this tree is easier to access so I'm going to work from this tree to start. So I'm going to approach the tree using a rope from school that you're familiar with. I'm going to wrap it around the tree and I'm going to place myself a bow line here. No. Why the law? There we go. Okay, so I got my loop. I come through from the bottom, back down and around. This is something you're very familiar with. I'm hoping that you're able to see me do this. My GoPro is at the right angle and you can see that my bowline is now in place and it's very important to recognize that the line here comes out way it came back in. Okay, I'm now going to extend the line towards the other tree and you'll see that I'm not going to reach. Uh, I'm short. So that means now we are going to apply a common sheet bend using a second line. Typically the line that I'm holding uh, out is the line that I will use as my, uh, my my loop and I'll come up towards me back down and around and here it goes my simple but very effective common sheet bend I pull it in and I'm now there now I'm not going to reach around here in order to do this I want to be able to pull this line really tight uh, my hand hopefully you can show that will come here so I want to put a alpine butterfly in somewhere around here so it's really simple I'm just gonna do my three wraps okay I'm standing here in the bush doing this put the first one into the pair second one over as I demonstrated the other day in class and up comes my alpine butterfly and I can get a good size loop there it doesn't really matter should be able to see the uh, loops there uh, not quite forming the way I'd like it to but I'll work on that and there we go I now can raise my ridge line like so now what I want to do in a ridge line is I want to have it as high as possible so I now know that I can move the line up on this end so I'm going to go to this end and raise the line as high as I can reach in the bush I might even use a barrel or some device to help me get it as high as possible if height really matters and then now that I've got it stretched around I'm going to do the same here as high as I can right and wow there we go look at that I'm once around the tree and then I'm going to grab into my bow or my alpine butterfly here and I have effectively created myself a ridge line I can pull this you can see that how I pulled that line all the way around and then I'm gonna wrap this excess line around the tree and then cross it like so I have lots of extra line here but that's okay and I'll wrap it and I'll start wrapping it in a double formation like this and what I'm going to do is just put a few half hitches in here, like so. One would be probably enough, but I'll put a second one in. And notice how I've doubled over, and I have myself a really nice taut ridge line for a tarp, a clothesline, whatever's necessary. And of course, here is my line to loosen or release it, so when I'm ready, I'm gonna well I'll step back and just demonstrate show you my ridge line there hopefully you can see it all the way across and again when I'm ready to let my line go at the end of the day I grab this line and I know that it pulls from this way so I simply give it a good yank and it releases the line 
my bowline has to be undone over there and my half hitch is over here which is fairly easy and of course my alpine butterfly have fun go find a couple of trees with a partner and do your own ridge line then take it down put your ropes away